Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video we are going to learn how can we create a recipe for the kernel module using DevTool. We are going to explore some DevTool suggestions that DevTool provide while creating the recipe. Then we will tailor the recipe according to our need and then we are going to test the recipe or we are going to test our kernel module on the system so let's begin so for this video i have seen a kernel online on git on github so as you can see that this is a kind of logger and when we redirect some output to this dev.logger it will create this dev.logger file in our dev folder when something is redirected to it so we can read it using d message or journal ctl so now let me copy the link the get link and now we will try to build the recipe using dev tool so let me source the environment first source oe now I am inside my build folder. Now we'll do dev tool add. After that, the name of the recipe that we want to give, I will give logger. And after that, I will say the link. And I have to give the branch. The branch is main. By default, this is the master branch. But here, if I show you. If you see it's not the master but it's the main so I have to explicitly write here the name of the branch so I'm writing here main so now enter so the recipe is being built So DevTool has created a recipe for us. So let us look inside the recipe. First of all, we'll go into workspace, recipes, logger, and here we'll do code and logger underscore get dot bb is the recipe. So as you can see here, we also have some suggestions from the DevTool. It says this is a basic basis of a recipe and may need further editing in order to be fully functional so here is a warning like the following license and license file checksum value are the best guesses it is your responsibility to verify so these are some license things so the important thing first of all i will change this the version i will write here just 1.0 and after that so it has also created the task install automatically so it is intelligent enough to create the task install and it has automatically passed the path variables after that the important thing is kernel path is in, in, in install make file is hard coded it means that the kernel source path is hard coded it says you will need to patch the make file note that the kernel source will be passed in as a kernel source path first of all let us ignore these things and let us try to build the recipe i will do dev tool build logger So now it is building, trying to build our recipe. So this time we have a lot of errors because it says that leaving directory and uh, there are some errors. Now let us check the source, the make file especially. So we will go back. And we will go to sources logger 
and here we will see the make file so as you can see that in the make file this kernel source path is hard coded and we don't want to use this we want to use our own kernel source path that is provided by yocto build system so here is the suggestion and we need to take care of it it says that note that the variable kernel source will be passed so we'll copy this here and in our make file what we'll do is we will remove this part we'll do dollar and then inside this we'll paste this so you can also compare this with our tab module that we have built in the uh, the kernel module uh, video for further info but here we have made these changes and now let us try once again to build to build the recipe or our kernel module build logger this time our build system or dev tool is trying to compile and it has been compiled successfully now we'll try to test this to test we'll do i have connected my system to our ssh so i'll do dev tool deploy target and then after that the name of the recipe is logger And after that, the path, the SSH path is 192.168.7.2. So we have already set the password. So for our image so this is one two three four five right now once more one two three four five so it has been deployed successfully to the target now we'll go to the target and here we'll go to root and now we'll do find minus i name name and Logger, we will try to search for. So, we are looking for a kernel object file, a logger.ko file that we can load on our system. Still looking. so here it is this is the kernel dot logger dot ko file so we'll go to this path so first of all we will go to dev and here we'll see that there is no logger file here available so now we'll go to this path we'll copy it cd this path and here Which is okay. It's just okay. So now here we have logger dot logger dot So we'll do ins mode and then logger dot ko. So now we'll see the D message. Tail. So it says here. I think it has been loaded. No. Nope. We'll do this. So loading. I think we'll see LS mode. Okay, so it is loaded now. Now what we'll do is we'll go to dev. And now in dev, if we see we have this now logger file. 
I will echo something. Echo. This is logger module test. And then I will redirect this to logger file. Say dev logger. So nothing happens, but this is used for logging that can be seen into D message or journal CTL. So we'll do D message and we'll do tail. So here you can see that this is logger module test. So now this is working perfectly. So we'll go back to our dev tool here, terminal, and we will undeploy it. And it will be, or first of all, let me a remote logger. Now what we'll do, we'll undeploy. Undeploy. Password. Password. It is undeployed. Now we'll do. Okay, if I are in sources, we'll see git status. Say git commit minus a make file. A does not make sense. See kernel source minus a forgot we will do git add make file first of all then we'll commit it so we'll do git commit minus m new kernel source paths committed it has been committed now we will go back and here we'll do dev tool dev tool finish first of all let's do help And it says if you do finish, what we can do is do recipe name and the destination. So dev tool finish logger and the paths would be meta tabular recipes kernel. Put enter. So the recipe has been created and now it will if we go to if we go to CD meta tab layer recipes kernel here you will see logger so we'll go to logger and here you can see logger underscore git newly created log underscore git and here you can see that there's the path as well as the patch that we have created so we can also look to the patch the dev tool has created automatically because we have committed our changes so code and you can see that here's the patch that dev tool has created automatically and our recipe is also ready to use. So we can also remove these unnecessary comments if we want. Like this. Okay. And now our recipe is clean and ready to use. So this recipe, this, uh, I, I think that this is a very strong or uh, uh, use of dev tool it, it tells us how how strong dev tool and how sophisticated dev tool is to create a module kernel module recipe so this is all about this video i hope that you have 
like this video so please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching